Hello everyone, this is Butterjar Cool, and you're currently watching my tutorial video on how to draw using Microsoft Paint and a mouse. So uh, this is just a tutorial that I think would be good for people who don't have any special equipment or programs, unlike my usual Paint Tool Sci and Wacom tablet ones. So hopefully this will be nice and accessible and easy to understand. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so first of all. Um, yeah, right when you open Microsoft Paint, you'll just have your canvas. I think this is the default size. You can change the size of the canvas by pressing Control and E. And I would make this bigger for you guys, but <laughs> for some reason my computer just hates it. And it just makes crazy horrible, like... Blah. Except that was actually pretty good, but it usually makes like really, really cornery things. Jaggedy. Jaggedy. No one likes jaggedy circles. Okay, so... Yeah, so we got the we got the canvas. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit with the magnifier. Oh man, this is great. And then I'll actually use the oval tool at a the second second size and I'm going to pick blue as the color cuz this will be our sketch. Um so make a nice circle. And then we can actually move it after we make it. And this is way too big. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I'm gonna use this <laughs> smaller size. <laughs> okay, so that's the one awesome thing about paint is you don't need to be able to freehand circles because, you know, this is the hardest thing in the world. And also my computer's just dying. So after you make a circle, you can Wait, no, this is, this is a tutorial on how to use paint, not to draw faces. So yeah, just uh, as you sketch, I think the main thing is to be okay with it looking horrible right off the bat. <laughs> this, all the sketching stuff will go away pretty soon, but not soon enough. Oh gosh, this is horrible. Okay. So, I already messed up over there, so I'm going to put in the jaw a little bit more. You can be as horrid as you need to be. See? Look how beautiful she is. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a little bit of the eraser. Okay. So, I think my only... Uh, input for sketching with the mouse is to just be patient and uh, okay with your drawing looking like, you know, a two-year-old who got a hold of crayons. What? What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's about it. I have nieces. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll fast forward through the rest of the sketchy sketch process and see you on the outline. And hello again. Now, if everything has gone well, you should have a slightly grody looking sketch. And yes, that that's what we have here. Kadooks. So now, now that we have all of this in our blue color, let's go to the curve tool. This is where things are gonna start looking pretty. And yeah, that's that's the whole purpose of this tutorial, how to make something kinda pretty. Kinda kinda pretty. Now it could be pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that talking thing. Oh my gosh. Uh I'm gonna use the second second size and pick the different color. So I'm picking black here. So the main thing about the curve tool is it's kind of like a vectory thing that I use in my other other tutorials. But um, so you click where you want it to start. You drag it over to the end point, and then you can drag the back half wherever you want it to go 
and then you drag the front half to influence that. Now the main thing about this is just remembering which point you laid down first. So it's always from back to front. So just kind of keep that in mind and as we go we'll see uh, see how things go. <laughs> oh man words always so hard. So here I'm gonna do this curve of it. I've laid it down. I'll overshoot it a teeny bit because I know it'll be flattened out as I try to pull this part up. And we have this part. Yay! Actually, no, that was horrible. Let's try it again. Control Z is always, pretty much always the best friend in these tutorials, in any drawing, actually, for me. Alright. One of the big things in this is also to not bite off more than you can chew for any single line. So I like to have maybe just one curve per curve tool. Like this one curves up and then down. So I guess two curves is good. Because I'll keep this down here a little bit. And then I'll bring it up. Can I put it that way? <laughs> and uh, you might not get it immediately. It takes a bit of practice and trial and error. A lot of error. <laughs> a lot of control Z to get comfortable with this tool. So there it is. Also, yeah, this is this is a budgie girl. These budgies are cool. So I made I made a budgie girl. Because what else would I make, right? Budgies are <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, also, if you are using a larger canvas size, because mine is 819 by 640, no, 460, dyslexic, um, and you want something bigger than one of these presets, you can press Control and Plus a bunch of times, and then you'll get something that's way bigger than any of these preset ones. So I'm gonna change it back to that, and okay, we're good. Now, the main thing here is that we're making all these pretty lines right now, but they're not quite natural looking yet because they are rounded. Everything is all roundy, but we'll get, we'll finish that point after I do the rest of the sketch. So, or sketch, outline, outline, words. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just be a little bit patient right now. I will finish up all of this curve tool business and well, then we're gonna do a lot more curve tool business. Happy, happy fun times. Okay, just a second. Okay, okay. Um, yep, we're gonna speed things up. Alrighty, we have our basic outline now. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, what is the outline? It's, yeah, it's there, but it's all the, the sketch. The sketch is still there. There's a lot of sketch still there. So the reason that we did this the way that we did, as in uh, we did the outline in one color and the sketch in another, is so that we can go to our bucket tool or fill, fill with color. Ah, it's a bucket. Yeah. And then select color two select the color that we initially used go back to color one and then just kidding make color one white or just uh, as long as you have your sketch color and white aka your background color as your other color then you can just go in here and be like okay get out of here just go back and forth between your left and right clicks and that should make everything go away.
Yay. This next step will be the one that'll make everything pretty. Now, let us well, stay with our black and white colors. Go back to your curve tool. Um, we can actually make the size about the same. And we will zoom in on the pieces that we want to make nice. So, your character might not have feathers, so I'll demonstrate on the hair. Let's go to the curve tool. And now instead of using the left click to make our black line, we'll use the right click to make a white line. Now, what you want to do is you start it up here, a little bit away from the point that you want to make nice end it a little after and then just ease the line on to the part that you want to make pointy oops and <laughs> you guessed it do it for the rest of the entire drawing <laughs> it's a labor of love people you gotta <laughs> patience Patience is a wonderful thing if you want to use a mouse and Microsoft Paint. Or actually, I guess any drawings requires a lot of patience because the outlining process is usually fairly long for any given drawing or program. So, yeah, I think I'll just do this for the rest of this drawing. And then I'll come back with coloring. Yep. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Now we have a pretty outline, but as you can see, Certain certain bits of it have little bits of blue in there and we don't want that because that's that's not supposed to be there. This is part of our previous sketch. Now what we'll do is go to select, make sure that transparent selection is checked. And then control A to select everything, control X to cut it. Go to your bucket tool then fill in everything with gray and then control V to paste. Alright, now that we have this, we can do our fancy back and forth coloring routine that we did to get rid of the other sketch parts. So let's go here, color everything blue with right click and then black and blue and then black and now all those unsightly blue pixels are gone. Yay! And also do that to any disconnected outline parts if they happen to have that same issue with the pixels. Alright, now we just need to get this thing back to where we want it. So we will go to Control A, Control X. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's keep that as our. Let's keep gray as our background. Control A and then X. Then make our background white again. And then Control V to paste it. Oh, no, wait. Make our color two. <laughs> keep it gray. And then Control V to paste it. Oh, that was complicated. Okay, now it is time to color. Yay, coloring, that's the fun part. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's this fun. Okay, now this should be pretty easy since we have, uh, since we filled in all those little pixels that are usually an issue in these cases. So let's go to, um, let's do this and just, oopsies. Make sure you have your correct color selected, so color one. And then just color everything whatever colors you want. Yay! Fancy, fancy, fancy. And um, yeah. Oh, go to edit colors if you want a color that doesn't exist in the presets yet. 
So I probably want to do some skin color, which will be normal orange, but lightened up quite a bit. Uh, let's actually bring it down a teeny bit so it's less saturated. Add custom colors. Okay. And then color in all the skin parts. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. So I'll block in the rest. Of oh, wait. No, that's takes like two seconds never mind <laughs> okay go over here make a new one we're gonna be more yellow and then drag this guy Ugh. okay right around there add to custom colors okay and we made a beak and this part is also kind of a beak too so we'll make that also yellow then we'll use the dropper tool to get that color back. Make these strap feather parts more feathery again. And then I guess I do need a little bit of time to figure out what color I'm going to make the hair. Ah, I hate making colors. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, we've decided <laughs> it's going to be uh, a dark gray. So essentially black, but make it actually black then it's gonna combine with the outline so we'll make it just a touch lighter than black it's a nice neutral color so that we don't have to have too much classing clashing colors um, let's actually get another white color that's a little off oh no we just went over one of our previous colors it's okay um, we will use this to color in the eye whites so what I usually do is I just make a teeny little oh no where is it boom and boom just contain the eye whites within the eye itself Oh man, so much concentration. Okay, and then we get to fill it in. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. And okay. I. Oh man, these colors are too close together. I don't know it's what anymore. Okay. Zoom in and get all of these little bits. So if you're actually going at a higher resolution than I am, then you probably won't have these these issues of pixel by pixel coloring just remember that uh, I would normally go at a higher resolution but my computer is of the age of the dinosaurs so it, it's not capable of Microsoft Paint and all this recording software and this webcam thing all at once so <laughs> oh yeah fun 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 okay let's see what color should we make the eyes let's do this color same as the, the sear crest bit add to custom colors okie dokes and then we'll do the same thing over here this gap is a little smaller than the eye gap so i'm just gonna pencil it in and then fill it up okie dokie i think that is just about uh, just about it for all of these oh, wait what okay wait that's there gonna take this gonna take that into there with the right click and then and then we'll take it okay I just want to kind of even this eye thing out a bit and okay now we have color everywhere yay okay next up is simple shading and then that'll be that'll be a wrap <laughs> alrighty so we have <laughs> added some extra things just because I got carried away and I was like oh, I'm not recording I don't uh. okay so now it is time to shade now what I usually do for shading is I'll go to the what is it called color picker tool also called eyedropper and all of other programs and things and then I will let's work on the skin so get the skin color go to edit colors 
and then we'll darken it a bit and also I like moving mine a little towards the pinker side add to custom colors okay and now let's see is this it's a bit dark so let's lighten that up a bit again say okay and okay that looks good now the type of shading that we'll be doing is cell shading so it's a bit uh, monotonous <laughs> Not, uh, not the blah, 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 most intuitive, but essentially you just find where you think the shadows will go, and then make little curves where you end up putting them. So again, this isn't really a tutorial on how to how to draw really it's more just how to apply existing drawing knowledge and skills to paint Microsoft paint yeah <laughs> all right so it's pretty much just find all the parts that'll be shaded so I totally didn't want to do that one let's go there and uh, you can even use the pencil if you feel so inclined. If something doesn't need to be a perfect curve or if it's a short thing, like that one. And actually, let's, let's make this dip. Oh, no. Dip in a little bit. Okay. And uh, it's pretty much just smooth sailing from here you're going to do a shading and then also highlights so in that case we can go to our eyedropper tool pick the skin edit color just lighten it up I like to just do a straight lightening don't need to do any fancy hue or saturation kind of things and then put in your highlight and fill in the highlight and that should be about it so I think I will let the rest of this go in time lapse and then I'll show you an easy way of getting a basic background into your picture. Okie dokie. I will see you soon. <laughs>
Um, the shadow. Fill in those things, and hopefully that'll be good. Control V, and oh, yay. It's here. Hello. We just have to put in the... whites of the eye again. The, the shiny parts. Let's see. Is that good? Maybe a bit more? Yeah, okay. Then escape to solidify that change. And then, bam! Oops, that's not it. Right click. Yeah! And uh, that only works because of the transparent selection and also having color 2 as white, which was our original background. And I do believe that is the entire picture right there. Okay. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. But honestly, I'm kind of lazy sometimes. So. Wait, should I have said that? I don't know. No, everyone's lazy a little bit at least, right? <laughs> okay, but I will, I actually, I will try to get to them as fast as I can. Thank you very much again for watching. Um, yeah, this is Budget Air Cool. Take care.